All right, so today what we're going to be doing is taking the knuckles and LCAs out of this car, and I'm actually going to go get the old knuckles that were originally done for this car here. Um, because what Sid wants to do is put the e-factory kit on his car, which is what I now have in here. But to do that, you need the factory knuckles to bolt up. It's hard to see right now, but yeah, anyway, you need the, the factory knuckles so you can bolt all that stuff in there and have sweet angle. I don't want to go that route for two reasons. One, I can't get a fresh kit. I don't want to pull this kit out right now. And two, it gives a lot more poke. And cops here really like to hand out inspection orders for the car. And I don't want to get one of those on here. So yeah, we're going to be taking the wheels off, taking the knuckles and the LCA out. And that way I don't have to mod another set. It actually works out better this way. And it's closer, so. For, yeah. Originally I was going to just mod these ones. But this helps him out, helps me out, so it works. Works for both. Alright guys, so we're halfway there. Got the uh, knuckle and LCA pulled out, as you can see. So the new one will of course have the LCA extended an inch, and then it will have the knuckles here shortened. So you can get some more angle for the dangle, but it's halfway done. Pull out the other half. All right, guys. As you can see, got both uh, sides pulled out. We're gonna head over to Sid's car there. Hopefully, we can use the hoist there too. Because once you got a hoist, you don't really want to go back to work on the ground. But I will. I need a double cheeseburger and hold the lettuce. Don't be front and sun. No seeds on the bun. We be up in this drive through order for two. I've got a craving for a number nine like my shoe. We need some chicken up in here, up in this hizzle. For she rizzle my nizzle, extra salt on the frizzle. Dr. Pepper, my brother, another for your mother. Double super size and don't forget the fries. Because the Ken was the other one, because yeah. he just Maybe like scuffed the paint. One of them was Ken. This is the old stallion. I painted this thing. I'm so stoked. All the sparkle. In the next practice, or it's just gonna sit until next season. Hopefully by then it'll have the angle kit and the uh, foamers in it. Well, we can. Did you bring the kit? We can stick I it in right now. I think it's in the back of the car, but. Oh, good toggle. Well, thanks for use, let me use your shot, buddy. You want, no sweat. You want to shout out your channel? McDonald Auto. There you go. Give her a give her a give her a fucking follow. <laughs> <laughs> Local support locals, right, dog? No. What we're talking, we gotta get you to get a drift car, but I don't think you're gonna go that route. No, no. no. We're gonna keep it, uh, keep it mainly JDM. That's fair. <laughs> lots of car cruises, car meets. Yeah. You know, lots of pissing around. <laughs> <laughs> gotta love the Hondas. That's where I started. They're easy. They're yeah. Fun. <laughs> right, Sid. That's right. Yeah. Sid's gonna give up drifting too. Yeah, pretty much. He's gonna go to book learning. That's right. Become a librarian. He's looking for the old girl. Can't believe this thing. From M50 to V8, back to M50. For, uh, no angle to angle. And then back to mod. Modded knuckles. Now stock again. Oh yeah, give her a Raz bud. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hers like a kitten. Alright guys, so we just left uh, the McDonald's place there, um, as you saw. I'll put a link to their YouTube channel in the description below. Uh, they do a lot of cool stuff with cars as well. Man, they got super nice place there, tons of projects, so they're always staying busy doing stuff. Uh, right now I'm just gonna head over see my buddy Jamie, and then hopefully go throw this these knuckles and LCAs in the car. and. It should be pretty much ready after that. I'm hoping to paint the car next week. Like next weekend. That's my goal. Uh, it might be a little ambitious. We'll see. 
but yeah if I can do that I'll be super happy all right guys so in that last video I ended it a little early because I just ended up just powering through on this thing uh, Jamie came over and helped me get it all together and the plan is today to get an alignment done on it so then it'll be ready for the road apart from getting it all painted so yeah uh, I was letting that thing run in my driveway and it ran out of fuel so I also got to get fuel for that and I'm gonna take the stock exhaust off the back and then put the stock midsection onto this car so it's really quiet when we go to Mexico so that way we don't draw any attention but yeah because uh, that one is kind of loud and awful well, I've been trying to uh, get the stupid exhaust off with sawzalls and shit I got this new toy See if I blow the car up, because I don't really know how to use it, but it's okay. the camera. Don't love this. Dude, you don't like any BMW. Your, your Nissan friends are becoming BMW kids. That's fine. You're mad. My K18 is still fun. So. <laughs> yeah, that sketchy. Oh yeah, sick. Oh. oh, is it a clutch again? Oh, sick. <laughs> oh no, it's that, that roast off. I love that roast off. Whatever it is, it's gotta be something good. It's worth it. Well, cold, neglected piece of crap. Seized up tie rods. I tried heating them, torching them. Nothing, so. And they only have one in stock, so. Guess it's not getting aligned. Lame. Stick toe. Well. Slightly sad. The dark as shit, so you probably can't see nothing. But the tie rod ends. We're very seized boys. So, gonna order some new ones. Didn't get the car line because the tie rods were completely seized. But that's okay. It is what it is. I got myself a burger. I'm gonna eat my burger, so. I'll probably uh, edit this one up, post it up, hope you guys uh, enjoy the content and let me know if you do, please subscribe, comment, you know, let me know uh, what you think.